Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Mu'iz Bukhari recording for the Daily Reminder Network. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, have you heard of the glass half full approach? Say for example, if there was a glass half full of liquid, there are two ways to describe this particular glass. One is that you can say it is half full or you can say that it is half empty. Now to describe it as half full is the approach of an optimist and this optimist looks at almost every single thing in his life from a positive angle. On the other hand, to describe it as half empty, now that is the approach of a pessimist and this pessimist looks at almost every single thing in his or her life from a negative angle. The sunnah that we hope to revive inshallah ta'ala in today's episode is the amazing optimistic nature of our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam if one were to go through the life of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam he or she cannot help but attest to the fact that he sallallahu alayhi wasallam was the greatest optimist to ever walk on the face of this earth allahu akbar look at the amount of trials and calamities he went through from being chased and boycotted by his own people to being stoned by the people of ta'if allahu akbar he sallallahu alayhi wasallam went through so many calamities but his spirits never ever wavered he continued he pursued his mission with will and determination this is exactly how we need to face our problems and our trials. We need to become strong rocks of perseverance that do not absorb any form of negativity whatsoever. We as believers, we need to be able to look at everything from a positive angle. For Allah Azza wa Jal, He is sufficient for us. Hasbun Allah wa ni'mal wakil. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sufficient for us and He is the best disposer of our affairs. Remember the time when our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companion Abu Bakr radiallahu an, they were migrating from Makkah to Medina. The enemy soldiers were behind them. They were chasing them and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Abu Bakr radiallahu an, they hide in a particular cave. The enemy soldiers were so close to finding them that at one point if a soldier were to just look down at his feet he would have spotted the opening of the cave abu bakr radiallahu an he was disturbed he was worried but then the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam very calmly reassured his companion la tahzan inna allah ma'ana la tahzan inna allah ma'ana do not worry do not despair indeed allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us indeed allah azza wa jal is with us this is the same mentality we believers we need to have la tahzan inna allah ma'ana do not worry do not despair indeed allah azza wa jal is with us my dear brothers and sisters in islam optimists are individuals who make lemonade out of the lemons that life hands over to them. To illustrate this point, let me share with you all a very interesting story. It is a fable, but a beautiful lesson can be derived from it. There was once a man who had two boys. They were twins, Siamese twins, identical twins, except for one distinguishing factor, a very important factor. One boy was an optimist. He was a boy who used to look at everything from a positive angle. And the other boy, was a pessimist he used to look at everything from a negative angle so one fine day the father he decides to test the two boys so after they had left for school he goes to the room of the boy who was a pessimist who used to look at things from a negative angle and he decks that boy's room with toys beautiful toys from all over the place he decks the room Afterwards, he goes to the room of the boy who was an optimist, who used to look at things from a positive angle. And he plasters that boy's room with, wait for it, 
horse dung. He plasters that boy's room with horse dung, with the droppings of horses. He plasters that room. He comes out and now he waits for the drama to unfold. So after the boys got back from school, they both went to their respective rooms and after some time, the father now goes to the room of the pessimist, the boy who used to look at things from a negative angle. He knocks the door and he enters the room. The minute he enters the room, he sees that boy sitting in the middle of all of those beautiful toys and crying. The boy was weeping. The father looks at the boy and asks him, Son, you are in the middle of so many toys, but why are you crying? You know what the boy says? Well, Dad, I don't know whether I should open up the toys because I'm scared I might break the toys. I'm worried if my friends get to know that I have toys, they may come and break my toys. And then I'm worried if I open up and start playing with my toys, the batteries might die and then I won't be able to play with my toys. He starts to complain, whine and grumble. The father, he smiles and then goes to the room of the optimist. He knocks the door, he enters the room. Allahu Akbar. The boy is beaming away. He is in a room plastered with dung and he has found a shovel and he is digging away too. The father was very amused. He asks the son, my dear son, you are in a room full of horse dung, but you are beaming, you are smiling away and you're digging. Why are you digging? Please tell me. The boy looks at the father and says, you know what dad, if there's so much of horse dung here, I'm sure I'm sure there's bound to be a pony and that's what I'm searching for the pony. Allahu Akbar. So you see, if you look at things from a positive angle, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, it can bring about a world of change in your lives. So please shift your perspective from negative to positive and you will see a world of changes. You will be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And remember, لا تحزن إن الله معنا لا تحزن إن الله معنا Do not worry, do not despair. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us. Please don't forget to share this video around as much as possible to inspire an amazing sunnah revival and also to fill others with positive thoughts and optimism. Jazakum Allah khair wa akhir da'wai and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. أمة الإسلام بشرى إننا نلمح فجرا في شباب قد أشادوا صحوة للدين كبرى